Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 9. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Integra owners meeting. We are taking a Honda Integra R02. We got four races for this. Uh, starting off with Twin Ring Mategi, Maple Valley, Suzuka Circuit, and then Iberian International Full. Let's get going. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the Integra. Integra Type R. Woo! Uh, so it is a new stream today. We're starting off with 7 hours and 19 minutes on the clock. I can't afford this life. Unbelievable. Get back here. So that car in first place is currently one performance point more powerful than us. Which is nothing. It means nothing to me. Yeah, I doubt that I'm going to be able to fit three of these events in one video. So I think it's going to go down to two events for this section. The only reason I haven't finished off the rest of the last uh, section is because of the fact that um, there is physically no way for me to get up and do the final event at all until I get to a much higher level, even though it's unlocked, like the R1 events, because that requires like a million credits. And to get that, I either have to get a free car on like level 30 or something. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough, lad. Do, 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 do. I'm not gonna lie though. The Integra is a beautiful sounding car. Death Ray, what is up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Boom, boom, boom. And galvanize. Hey, good to hear, man. Good to hear that you're doing good. By the way, anyone who is watching this on YouTube, uh, first of all, hi. Second of all, if you want to watch this shit live, Check out that link in the description. It is honestly a vibe in the live streams. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. World. The time has come to... World. What a tune. Galvanized. So yeah, it looks like these races are going to take approximately four and a half to five minutes to do. So uh, two of these championships should fit in an episode quite easily. And that way we actually get all of them done in relatively easy fashion. Not bad. World. The time has come to push the button. Mm. 
Do the FH5 trail that uses a stock mini. Anyone here that wants to help me is actually good and doesn't smash into their teammates. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anyone else here at the moment. <laughs> I know I definitely won't be playing it today. The time has come to push the button. World. The time has come to... I'll take my money. Thank you. Uh, your Integra Type R has reached reputation level 1. You now have a 20% discount on ignition upgrades by NGK. Let's go. All right. Race number 2. Maple Valley. Go hold back. So squeeze my way through. Breathe in. I've just about got the pass. Nice. So with cars in this game, right? They're fairly well represented to their real life price. Um, this game... A motorsport 4. Later on games, not so much. Uh, and earlier games, uh, yeah, sort of. This car was 14 grand. If you were looking for a car with this kind of performance nowadays, by Honda, you'd be paying 50 grand, probably. Honestly, inflation is unreal at the moment across the world. But the problem with inflation is just the fact inflation could be quite easily solved if people didn't just print more money. Because that's the sole purpose behind inflation, is the fact that people can just print more money. I know what this song is. Oh, come on. I'm in the wall. I've had a, uh, nothing, just a small incident. What happened between you and Max? Oh, nothing, just a small incident. <laughs> I love that. Such a good clip. Interior of this car's nice. Uh, I just had a notification on my phone from CarWow about a new Bugatti that's just been revealed. Bugatti Roadster. I'm going to have to have a look at it. By the time this video comes out, you'll have seen it, probably. I ain't yet, so I'll give you my opinions on the next race, I guess. Ooh. 
Okay, so that corner is a lot a lot more difficult than I expect. Take me higher. Yes, this thing doesn't have very good uh, steering capabilities, that's for sure. There we go, across the line, not bad. Result. We've got seven grand. We're now level two with the Integra. Uh, we now have a 20% discount on fuel system upgrades by AEM. Nice. All right, so I've seen pictures of this new Bugatti. The uh, Bugatti Roadster. It's a mixed bag for me. So, um, it looks like the Devo. There are a lot of people that like the look of the Bugatti Devo, so they're going to love the look of the Roadster, because it is just the Devo, but a lot nicer. I'll be honest. I do think it looks better than the Devo. But I didn't like the styling of the Devo at all. In my opinion. The, the Devo's an odd one. The, it's got an odd shape. It doesn't seem Bugatti. But then again, you have do have the EB110 from the 90s. So... Yeah. Um, it's weird. I'll be honest. It is pretty cool that it's, um, uh, what's it called? It's got a convertible roof, which is good. Uh, it is the last, by the, by the looks of it, it's going to be the last, uh, petrol Bugatti. Because all future Bugattis are going to be hybrid after this one. They're going to be hybrid, and then the Rimac division will be solely electric. I think. Which I think is pretty cool. I've lost the rear light cluster. Which is not ideal. Ferris wheel looks like it's going way too fast in the distance. Eh, maybe it's not. Shut up, Pigsby. got the Xbox 360 logo on it as well. Lovely. Do 
Ah, oh, this engine is so lovely. For a cheap car, this is a good sounding engine. Seven grand, not bad. Uh, we now have a 20% discount on differential upgrades by cars. Nice. Right, let's go. This is it. Hey. Oh. Hey. I do. F That's the one thing that irritates me about uh, Motorsport 3. It's a tiny tap like that, and you'll realize it destroyed instantly. It's like the real lights are made out of sugar glass. That was some nice airtime there, actually. I wonder if I can get a screenshot of that for the thumbnail. Low rider. All that power. Just count the hours. Pretty cool, actually. This car's handling this circuit so nicely. Even when I'm taking an aggressive line over the curbs, it's not unsettling the car too much. I know in some of the other Forza games, like uh, Motorsport 2, especially Motorsport 1 for stuff like uh, Blue Mountain Raceway, you would go onto a curb and it would just completely throw your car off track. Oh, that power. The clock's ticking. I just count the hours. Not bad. Taking a nice amount of curbs there. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. I was trying to have a drink. This car's quicker than I thought. I think in this game we've actually got uh, Le Mans gets added to this this game, if I'm not mistaken. Shadow, what is up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day, my dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Le Mans and the Bugatti circuit is added to this, including the new and old LaSaf. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day. Currently racing the classic graveyard track. You know what that one is. Well, that could be quite a few different tracks. 
Could be Imola, to be honest. Imola's known for killing people. 11. 11 grand. Not bad. We'll take it. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to take part in the Peugeot Racing Club. I got a 206. We're starting off with Miguelo, then Amalfi Coast, Circuit de Catalunya, and then Road Atlanta, full circuit. Let's go. All right, here we go, Miguelo. With the Peugeot. Lovely job there. Sick, sick, sick. This Peugeot is literally the top end of E-Class before it goes into D-Class, which is kind of surprising. I never expected a Peugeot to actually outperform a large majority of hatchbacks. Oh, this car's a lovely bundle of fun. I wonder how well this game runs on an emulator. Hey, yeah, not bad, Kodo. Catch your eyes. I know. Honestly, the engine noise is amazing. When you're in VR, right, you use a proper pair of headphones, over-ear headphones. So these ones that I've got right now have got bass boosting, so it sounds like you're actually there with the car. Uh, these headphones make engine noises sound even better. Like, they are perfect. Like, I bought these for music, but they are so good as a gaming headset when it comes to racing games. Shooting games, not so much, but racing games are really good. Um, but yeah, chuck these on. VR headset, sit in the car. Every single one of your five, well, four sensors, sight, Touch. Probably taste, maybe. <laughs> you smell not so much, because, you know. Unless you get yourself, like, a cup of petrol and just leave it on the side. I just smell the vapours coming off of it. <laughs> In which case, that would be a proper immersive experience. <laughs> Two Jager bombs and Skittle bomb. Yeah, I've I, I, I've had a couple of uh, Mythos beers from uh, Greece. Uh, they're all right as a beer. They're definitely a good a good beer. But I am not a fan of beer, so I norm typically would avoid it. Copperbergs are good. Copperbergs are expensive over there though. Cause they're all imported, so you end up spending like six pound a bottle. I mean, to be fair, Copperbergs are already expensive in the UK anyways. But they're even more expensive. Over there. Lost it into the last corner into the gravel. Uh, that last hairpin corner can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Oh, 
five euro is not too bad. Still more expensive than the UK. But, yeah, it's not too bad. bad. Driver level 15. Woohoo! And I actually start unlocking my achievements now because apparently I accidentally played this game on my main account. Oh, fuck yeah! Right, we've got a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Peugeot. I got myself a Ferrari California! Come on. Come on. Show me the goods! Oh my god, it's beautiful. I I think that every Ferrari that's ever been made has been a beautiful looking car. Even the modern ones, they all look stunning. All right, here we go. I find it weird that this Peugeot can make that kind of noise out of the engine. So uh, this is a short track, but there is a really long version of this circuit that I believe is only on this game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they had it on Motorsport 4. Suspension damage, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend damaging that. Or anything on your car, for that matter. Maybe the wing mirrors can go. They're not too necessary. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, boom, boom, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, boom, boom. I like how there's three red Peugeots here. Just in a line. I cannot believe we just got airtime then in a Peugeot. I'm going for it. This track is honestly one of the nicest, be most beautiful locations that Forza has ever had. I don't care if it's got lower polygon counts than the newer stuff. This is stunning. The atmosphere here is unbelievable. The fact that you've got different road textures, you've got different scenery. I mean, look at that. Shit. Don't look at it while you're driving. You've got all sorts. Such a variety. It's unbelievable. To think soon we'll have the full Amalfi Coast to drive around as well. I still can't believe Monaco isn't in Formula... Uh, not... F fuck. Monaco's in Formula 1, but it's not in Forza. That's the kind of track I sort of saw Forza adding. I hope they add it to Motorsport 8. As much as I hate the track, in general, I think it would be a nice, interesting place to go to. when traveling the world or going over these events. Like, Monaco would be nice. It'd be nice to try, at least. If if the track ends up being horrendous, it ends up being horrendous. It's quite a hit-and-miss track. I mean, when you think about it, little street cars are probably more suited for the Monaco track anyways.
more air time. Ah, oh, bend it. Pretty much fucking bend it, but we're going. Whew! Saved it. Just at the last minute. Uh, 5,600 credits. We got a car to level two, so we now have a 10% discount on front anti-roll bars and rear anti-roll bars by white line. Nice. And we just hit eight hours. Uh, so apparently this week, um, which by the time this video goes out, it'll be over anyways. But uh, this week on Epic Games, they're uh, giving away Doom 64, I believe. From what I've seen. I have to double check though. There are sparks flying everywhere around Circuit de Catalunya. Fuck. Come on, Eileen. Whoa. That was too close for comfort. I need to save this replay, actually. Can't forget. Do, 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 do. Bonk. Not bad. Cool. We got around that long sweeping curve all right. So the thing with this game, right, we're running this on medium difficulty. But uh, this one is actually fairly balanced in terms of its AI's capabilities with driving cars. So I don't think I'm going to have too many problems with having to turn down the AI. And I don't think this prob that problem will actually appear at all. Uh, for the rest of this Forza series. But again, I am not 100% sure.
There we go. Result! I'll take that. 7,300. Uh, we're now level 3. We got a 10% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by Sea Tribe Europe. Or Set Trab. Either one of them would have done. Alright, here we go. Last race of the Peugeot Racing Club. And the love kick starts again. Beep, 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 beep. Ah, cheers for that one, Peugeot. I love how this older Peugeot has better performance than the newer one. Like, that is just disappointment summed up. This thing's going to take, like, two minutes to get around this track. I gotta watch uh, stages six to eight of the E Pro Rally tonight. Mm. Mm. The massive crash earlier on this morning, which fucking sucks. Just a tip pad, boy. It took 149 to get round. Surprisingly quicker than I expected. I think a majority. Uh, look at that. I think a majority of these track textures have actually been taken straight from Motorsport 2. I don't think they redid a majority of these. I think they upscaled them for Motorsport 4, made them a little bit higher res. But I think they sort of stuck with the same scanning. But then again, the engine is fairly different in this game. That makes stuff look a lot crisper than it did in uh, Motorsport 2. Everything looks crisper. Oh look, I'm in a Peugeot that actually hit 100 miles an hour. And oh look, it's 115, 120. I'll be honest, 125 miles an hour is 125 more than I expected a Peugeot to ever be able to drive. Not bad. 5,800. Let's go. I'll take my money. We got 10 grand bonus. Love the job left. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.